So hello friends, today we are going to discuss a very famous problem known as climb stairs or stairs. So the question is, you are climbing a staircase and it takes a step to reach the top. You each time you can either climb one or two steps in how many distinct ways you can climb to the top. So not sure if you got anything out of it, but let's try. So let's take some examples. So let's say friends, this is a stair of one step and there are zero one. You are at the zeroth floor. You can take one step or two step at a time, one length step or two length step at a time. How many ways you can reach the top? So simple, there is one way. That one way is you will take a one length step. Correct. Now let's take another example. It will clear with further examples. So let's say I have staircase like this. This is zero step. This is first step and this is second step. Again, I'm at the ground floor. I have to reach the top. So what are the ways? Simple, I can take two step of one one length or directly a two length step from the zero -th step. So that is two ways I have. Now let's see for n equal to three. So for n equal to three, what will happen? I have something like this. Zero -th step, first step, second step and third step. So what are the ways? Simple, I can take three one length steps, a one length step and a two length step or first a two length step, then a three length step. So total ways are three total three ways and here we have total two ways and here we had only in the first example we had only one way right that one way was simply just take one length step correct or maybe we can increase it for n equal to four let's say if we have a four we have four floors so this 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 and this 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 is zero one two three and four. So what are the ways? Ways are simply I can have four one length steps, two one length step and a two length step, one length step, two length step, one length step, two one one and two two. So total number of ways, one, two, three, four, five ways I can reach to the top. Right? So hope this is clear. Now let's discuss the solution. Solution is uh, not that hard, at least the recursive one. I mean, none of this is hard. This is the easiest question. This is the basic question that we do in dynamic programming. So let's say I want to know, I want to write a function which tells me number of ways to reach third floor, number of ways to reach third floor or third step. So what I know is that if somebody tells me number of ways to reach second step, number of ways to reach first step, I can directly calculate number of ways to reach third step. I'll show you how. So number of ways to reach second step is two ways. Take a one one length step or take a two length step. Number of ways to reach first step is take a one length step. Now to all these steps, if I take, I'm already at the second floor from zero floor to second floor. These are the ways you can reach. If I take a one length step among them from them, I would I would reach the third length step. So simply this is one one two these steps and to them I will take a one length step I will reach the third step or from the uh, number of ways to reach first floor is first step is one way that is take a one length step to that if I take a second length step I would reach at the top isn't it all the ways to reach the third step third floor let's see one more example let's say we want to calculate number of ways to reach fourth step so if somebody tells me number of ways to reach third step or number of ways to reach second step, I can simply to all the ways uh, with which I can reach the third step, I can add a one, I can take a one length step and I will reach the fourth step or to the number of ways I can reach second step, I will add a two and I will reach fourth step. Let's just see. This is one, 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 two, one, one, two, number of ways to reach third step, number of ways to reach second step is one, two, one, one and two. So to all these steps, to all the steps, to all these steps of number of ways to reach third step, one, 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 two, one, one, two, I will add a one, one length step and I will reach the first step or number of ways to reach second step. I will add a two to them and I will reach a fourth step. Correct. Isn't it all the ways to reach fourth step or fourth floor? All the five ways I have with me. Easy peasy. So if I now you might have smelled recursion by now. If I want to know number of ways to reach fourth step, it is dependent upon number of ways to reach third step and number of ways to reach second step. 
which further depends upon number of ways to reach third step is further depending upon number of ways to reach second step and number of ways to reach first step number of ways to reach second step is dependent upon number of ways to reach first step and number of ways to reach c to step correct so number of ways to reach no no let's draw this tree even more number of ways to reach second step is number of ways to reach first step and number of ways to reach second step now number of ways to reach zero step if i ask you this question you are at the zero step how many ways you can reach the zero step you will say a uh, zero but here the answer is one why one because there is one way one way is do nothing for example if i ask you from how many ways you can reach from minus one step zero step to minus one step if you can take one step up or one two step up here also you will say zero but here answer is not possible in this case answer is possible so that is why just to clear the base case we say there is one way that is do nothing but still you will reach the zero step number of ways to reach first step this is nothing but one way here also same one way and one way so number of ways to reach two steps is two way this is also two ways this is number of ways to reach one step is one way number of ways to reach three step is just i mean i'm just simply adding my base uh sub problems my recursive calls so number of ways to reach four step is five ways hope this is clear so simply i can say my answer f of n number of ways to reach nth step is dependent upon f of n minus one plus f of n minus two now let's code it up so friends let's just code our recursive solution so again we know <clears throat> the answer to number of ways to reach nth step is dependent upon the number of ways to reach n minus one nth step plus number of ways to reach n minus two nth step so we'll just return that and base case would be if n double equals to zero or n double equals to one we've already discussed for both of them we have one way for n equal to zero one way means you do nothing but you uh, you are at zero step you want to reach zero step so you do nothing but still you reach the step for n equal to one there is one way that is take a one length step so i think that is it let's test it up okay, fantastic now friends we did recursive code but uh, that is taking a lot of time because if you see most of the things are being calculated again again and again for example here you are calculating number of ways to reach two steps here you are calculating it again number of ways to reach one step you are calculating it again although it is not taking too much time but still if this would have been f of 5 you would see this f of 3 also repeating for example if i try to make it for f of 5 this will call f of 4 and f of 3 this f of 4 will again call f of 3 and f of 2 so you see the same problems are being repeated again again and again so we have overlapping sub problems and since the main problem solution is dependent upon smaller problems it is optimal it is following optimal substructure so what can we do we can apply memoization so let's just see memoization code so friends let's see it happening in uh via memoization so what i will do i'll create a dpra and dp is equal to new end size would be n plus one because i want to get the answer of uh dp of n dp of n will contain what the number of ways you can reach nth step from zeroth floor so i have to return answer for n steps right so i want n as an index that's why dp array size is n plus one let's pass this array and let's pass this here as well need to pass it in these calls and then what while returning i will store it in dp of n and simple if dp of n every time you come back to me is not equal to zero it means it has been pre-calculated again return dp of n so i think that's it let's run it up yep and let's submit it up yeah so it worked coming to time and space complexity so if you discuss about time complexity we have n states and each state is taking order of one time to be calculated so time complexity will be order of n coming to space complexity uh, I'll be using order of n stack space and order of n for this dp array. So order of n will be my space complexity. Now friends, the same problem we can do with tabulation or iteratively. So we know our f of n is f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2. So and we have already discussed number of ways to reach 0th floor or 0th step from 0 is 1 and that is let's say do nothing and number of ways to reach first step is one take one way now what are the number of ways to reach second step 
every one is just sum of previous two so this will be number of ways to reach second step will be number of ways to reach first step plus number of ways ways to reach zeroth step that is two and we can see that from zeroth step just take a two length step and from first floor take a one length step now similarly number of ways to reach third floor is sum of number of ways to reach first floor or first step or second floor or second step so two plus one three and that is to the number of ways to reach first floor add a two number of ways to reach second floor add a one now again number of ways to reach fourth floor is sum of number of ways to reach third floor and second floor which is five to the number of ways to reach second floor add a two number of ways to reach a third floor add a one now similarly number of ways to reach fifth step this is nothing again sum of previous two so five plus three eight and what it will be to all the ways all the ways to reach third floor just add a two length step and to all the ways to reach fourth floor add a one so we just we are interested in knowing number of steps so let's just code it out so friends let's try to do this iteratively so simply i've created a dp array dp of zero is one dp of one is one and let's run a loop from i is equal to two to i less than equal to n i plus plus then what dp of i will be equal to dp of i minus one plus dp of i minus two and i think that's it let's run it up what am i missing oh for int i my bad and let's see mm -hmm. run successfully and let's submit it so it worked now friends again coming to time complexity we i have ndp states n size variable every uh, index that i have in this dpr is taking constant time to calculate so it will be order of n time complexity and space complexity will also be order of n one more thing that we can do to this is if you look carefully you will see every time you need only three states i mean i needs only i minus one and i minus two value right so instead of this we can use three variables so what i can do I can get something like int a is equal to one, which is the result for zero floors for n equal to zero. Int b is equal to one for again n equal to zero, and then int c. Let's initialize it with zero, and we will calculate it. So what I can do, I can simply do c is equal to a plus b, and then a is equal to b, and b is equal to c. So what will happen? This is like a uh, converting Fibonacci. First we have it. Uh, in a array and then we can do it using three variables so every time my third variable is dependent upon last two variables so if let's just see we see it like this first i have a1 then i have b1 and then i have c i try calculating c for n equal to 2 onwards and first time it is a plus b so it becomes 2 now next iteration for i equal to 2 this is what i do a was 1 b was 1 c was calculated as 2 now for i equal to 3 any next iteration what do i do or not even i equal to 3 at i equal to 2 in fact at i equal to 2 i calculated c which was a plus b so it became 2 and then what i did i copied a to b a b to a so what did a become a become 1 and b become 2 so next iteration for i equal to 3 when it runs and when c will be calculated it will come out to be 3 so so on and so forth i'm just storing last two variables and because that's what i need so if I come to time complexity, time complexity is still the same, but space complexity, now it is constant. So let's just run it and see if it is working. And one more thing, since I'm running for, first of all, I have to return C. And also, uh, if n equal to 0 or 1, 0, or n equal to 1, I still have to return 1, because I'm calculating result from 2 onwards. So it is 1 only. Let's just see. So if it is submitted. And yeah, it ran successfully. So hope you enjoyed this problem. Thank you so much, friends. Bye-bye.